Alright, today we'll take a look at Boxy. Now, Boxy is a, an open source software that will turn your computer into a media center. So, uh, and this can be um, any computer, it could be an older computer. I have a computer that's at least six years old, and Boxy works fine on it. Now, uh, what you can do with it is uh, install it on your computer and uh, connect your computer to your big screen TV and you, you will have free uh, internet channels and uh, video content, music, uh, things like that on your, on, your, uh, on your TV for free. Now to get Boxy, um, go to boxy.tv and then hover over download and from here you can pick uh, which version you want. So if you have Ubuntu 64-bit, Big 64, and there's also a Mac OS uh, 10 version, uh, there's an Apple TV version, and a Windows version. So uh, once you download it, you just uh, you get a dev file. So you just double click it, and it installs for you. After you do that, uh, you go to your applications, sound and video, and Boxy. So when Boxy launches, you get this home screen, and you can see on the top there are some options. There's photos, music, movies, TV shows, and apps. Now if you have photos in your hard drive, you can uh, go uh, and browse them through this photo option. Uh, you can also do the same with music. If you have a music collection, you can um, in your hard drive you can listen to your music, and it will find the album art automatically and, uh, and the information for the music. Uh, you can also um, pull music from the internet using some uh, some music apps like uh, there are Pandora and other apps. We're going to look at that one uh, later. Uh, now if you have a collection of movies in your hard drive, if you backed up movies you can watch them uh, from the movie option and same with TV shows. If you have them in your hard drive uh, you can watch them from your hard drive but the nice thing is uh, you can also access uh, sh TV shows from the internet so if you choose the scan media folders option it will scan your your hard drive for uh, TV shows but if you don't have them you can watch them from the internet by choosing TV show library so when you go to TV show library as you can see there's uh, a bunch of shows you can choose from uh, and there's a lot of them so you just find the show you want you uh, choose it and uh, then you get the option to choose which um, which episode you want to watch and then you just choose it and it starts playing it it's as simple as that and you also have apps now apps there's a lot of apps uh, but these apps can be for music videos and like uh, even uh, uh, pictures and news things like that you can see there's Pandora for your music, there is a boxy browser if you want to browse the web. There's YouTube, Revision 3 shows. Uh, there, there's a lot of options here, and you can uh, browse through these and uh, see what you like. And uh, all this content is free. Uh, like this one, if you go to the big picture, you can watch uh, slideshows of uh, some pretty cool pictures from around the world, and they keep updating these. Uh, you can try Revision 3 and watch their shows. Many of the content uh, is in HD, so it'll look good in your TV. Uh, like Revision 3, you can choose from their shows, as you can see at the bottom. And uh, once you uh, pick uh, a show, it gives you the option to uh, choose from the episodes. And uh, you just click Enter, and it plays. And like I said, the Revision 3 shows are in HD. If we go back, uh, there's uh, files. Now from here you can browse your hard drive and uh, find your media files and play them directly. There's also some other options, some basic options like settings, change the appearance and system settings and things like that. Okay, so try it out. It's really good. And thanks for watching. Your number, your number, your number.
Get up, 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 get up,